You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Well, I think it's about time we got to handle the truth. Huh? Welcome back. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah. Talk, uh, is this a dream? Is this reality? <laughs> Am I still drunk off my ass? I don't think so. Maybe hurting a little bit, but not drunk. Listen, folks. It's, it's finally here. We're now in that room in the world of SHTF, modern politics, modern social whatever. It's, not, it's no longer local politics. It's no longer geopolitics. Now it's astropolitics. It's galactopolitics. I'm going to give you the headline, okay? And then we're going to discuss. I sure hope you're prepared to discuss the most abnormal shit you probably ever actually had to really consider. So they shot the, quote, object down over Lake Huron yesterday, Super Bowl Sunday, while the world slept, while no one paid attention, while no one gave a shit, while no one believed it, right? It's an object. Oh, my God, it's, it has eight sides. Right? We discussed that last night. These objects... And days ago, I thought, are they going to play the alien card? Are they going to play the alien card? Are they going to do it? Lo and behold, folks, yesterday at the Pentagon, someone asked the general at the Pentagon, was it an alien craft that was shot down? Is it aliens that's doing this? was started as a tongue-in-cheek, satirical, cynical look at the bullshit that they've been feeding us. That's how it started. It has now turned into, well, that's, we're now in that room. The general re responded to the question about whether or not the balloon was an alien craft. He said, we are not ruling anything out. We are not ruling out anything. That is, folks, as tacit an admission without actually saying yes that we will ever get. I mean, shouldn't it be President Xi Xi? Joke, stupid, dunderhead, in your face, Biden. Shouldn't Joe be the one? Well, aliens have come, and they've, well, they didn't show up on the lawn and say, take me to your leader, because they're probably like, that ain't no leader. They didn't show up and start blowing up major monuments around the world like an Independence Day. It's, it's something else, folks, so let's get into this. If you really want to know about government and aliens, a true historical background, that is media reports, government reports, military reports, as well as eyewitness accounts, you need to pick up books by Richard Dolan, D-O-L-A-N. You could also go to his uh, YouTube channel, Richard Dolan, The Richard Dolan Show. The man is an intellectual who is, believe it or not, dedicated his life to work on the alien question. And he is incredibly entertaining in a very dry and analytical, uh, nerdy sense, but he's also just right... Right there. He has all the information. Now, <clears throat> yeah, we're actually discussing this. Aliens. Uh, Bob Lazar was a whistleblower who came out, oh, shit, 30-odd years ago, and said, hey, aliens, Area 51, I'm working on them. Recovered craft. Recovered craft. Okay, folks, now we get into it. How was this an alien? It was, we were told a balloon, a balloon the other day. We have balloons all over President Trump's presidency, right? The military insiders like, yeah, yeah, we hid that from Trump. It was a totally political question. These balloons, balloons. You know, I, I basically went after him and said, balloons, are you freaking kidding me? Balloons? 400-year-old human technology balloons? <sighs> I, 
I, I just can't. I, I, I couldn't help it. I just I had to approach the alien thing. Like this is getting so stupid. We've got to consider aliens using 400 year old balloon technology to screw with us. You know they're not the sharpest little characters. Uh, and I'm just going to have to talk about this more now. I guess as, as the weeks uh, pass or the days or the hours or whatever the fuck before the next announcement. <clears throat> So the pilots, several pilots of the F-16s uh, witnessed this object that was shot down. Now, <clears throat> UFO, unidentified flying object, right? Then it became UOP, uh unidentified aerial phenomena. Now they're calling them fucking balloons. And then, well, it could be aliens. Get this. The pilots of different craft each describe the object in a different way. In a different way. Uh, one that shot it down, I think, says it was an eight-sided object. Others <clears throat> report uh, different shape configurations. Okay, so it has a cloaking device. It has the ability to project an image of itself that is different than what it is. Are we supposed to believe that, folks? Oh, yeah, by the way, shit has hit the fan. When the fucking Pentagon is shooting things down and then telling us it's aliens, maybe. I'm going to ask you this question, folks. For at least 100 years... Strange aerial phenomena, or UFOs, if you will, have been flying around the planet. In fact, it's thousands of years. Ancient aliens, right? But the last hundred years, we have been flying in the air, too. That's right, little humans and their flying machines. Well, I guess we shot one down. Folks, the amount of video footage, eyewitness footage of strange shit in the air, that part doesn't surprise me that there's aliens here or creatures from another dimension or beings from another world or under the world or around the world or from the top of the world or under the ice in the Antarctica. Right? That doesn't surprise me. What surprises me is the manner in which we're all going to be told that they use the semblance of 400-year-old balloon technology with ridiculous solar panels, and that's a, that's a cloaking device? Now, what did they shoot it down with? What about a Sidewinder missile? What jet did they use? An F-16. Oh, that's Biden's jet, right? He said, well, you, know, you, you, you think you're going to defeat us with AR-15s? We got F-16s. Not the F-22, not the F-35, not the F-500-009 or 6 or super plane. No, it was an old crappy F-16 shot down the alien. After 100 years, we can now shoot them down with regular old Sidewinder-ass missiles and F-16s. If we had, we've had Sidewinder technology forever, folks. At least, what, 50 fucking years. Now, <clears throat> one of the pilots, at least one of the pilots, reported that their, their flight instrumentation was affected by the object. That's been a complaint of UFOs for quite a long time, whether you're in a plane, an automobile, a boat, everything shuts off. It interferes with the uh, electromagnetic uh, operations our equipment at our level requires. Well, uh, apparently it didn't do a very good job of that, and it got its ass shot down. Now, speaking of shot down, we've been recovering UFOs for, I don't know, the last 80 years at least, since 1947. Roswell. 
There have been alien recoveries, people that say they were part of it, witnesses, witnesses to the crashes, witnesses to crash sites, government collecting things. <sighs> and now we have the Pentagon not denying, the Pentagon is not denying that it was a UFO, that it's aliens. Why? Why now? Why are they doing this now? Once again, am I just... Is this a residual effect? Did the Mandela effect hit me in the middle of the night and I'm on that planet with you guys? We called it, you and I, sitting around talking, being cynical, understanding the world we're in is just completely jacked up. And we made the joke, yeah, it could be aliens. Our military stood up to the aliens and shot them down. That'll teach them. Before I sign off on this video, until tonight, I've got a hell of a long day. I've got a hell of a headache. Woo! Thank you guys for last night. Before I sign off, though, let me describe alien technology to you. If the universe is as all of these brilliant scientists say, from Carl Sagan to Michio Kaku to Albert Einstein, well, everybody. The universe, the next star is light years away, and we are a long way from traveling at light speed. The nearest planet is forever and hell and gone away from us, according to them. Yet, a spaceship, an alien ship, makes it here from some distant world. <clears throat> makes it here from some distant world, traveling across untold time and space with its technology. It gets to Earth and says, well, I'm going to choose something that seems harmless as a shape to identify myself as to these silly little earthling people. Right? It, it has the technology to bend space, to punch wormholes. It can fold time, whatever the fuck technology it used, but it can't deal with one single Sidewinder missile. It comes all this way to a clearly primitive planet run by fucking morons. If this balloon spaceship had spent any amount of time here and listened to this show, they would realize that the people in charge of this government, the military, and all governments are absolute abject idiots. Tribal warfare conducting fucking morons. And this alien still chose to come down in the atmosphere and manifest itself over one of the most deranged presidential administrations of all time. That's a lot of technology to come all this way just to get shot down by the equivalent of a fucking pea shooter. Literally, put a pea in a straw and blow it with your mouth. Pea shooter. I'm not buying it. I'm just not buying the technology, I'm not buying the story, and I'm not buying their explanation for what the universe is. I know too fucking much, I've seen too much, the universe is not what they say it is, these aliens are not who they say they are, the government is not what it says it is, it's gonna, it's now, now it's going to admit there's aliens. Remember, China shot down a UFO shot it down or just uh, saw it and complained about it over China yesterday. It's one hell of an attack. Balloons, balloon looking aliens show up and hang out over the world superpowers and risk getting shot down. I'm not buying it. Doesn't make a lick of fucking sense to me. They would have been better off dealing with the Eisenhower administration. 
It would have been better off dealing with Reagan. It would have been better dealing with, with fucking <clears throat> Jimmy Carter, President Carter, 1976 to 1980, that guy. Jimmy Carter uh, wanted to know the and was basically told no. You know, you don't get to know shit, right? You're a fucking peanut farmer from Georgia, STFU. We're in that room, folks. Shit has hit the fan. What? What can? Okay, let me ask you this before I sign off. What can happen next? What can possibly happen next? Where does it go from here? Can they put that fucking genie back in the bottle? Can they stuff that shit back in the horse and pretend like, nah, it didn't happen? They released footage years ago and started having military pilots talk about chasing UFOs. They released footage. The Pentagon released footage of the uh, Tic Tac, right, of other alien or strange technology craft in the air. They've been hinting at it and hinting at it and hinting at it and hinting at it for years. And here we are. Now they find it expedient to shoot one down. Not buying it. Well, Congressman, whatever the hell his name was from <clears throat> Michigan, said the American people deserve to know more. Well, I guess now we know a little more, huh? That the government is willing to not admit the government is willing to not deny that it's aliens. Folks, I think you can handle the truth. The government does not think you can handle the truth. They've lied to us for as long as they've known. What makes you think that they wouldn't lie to us when they should be telling us more? In fact, every time they should be telling us the facts and the truth, they tell us less. Literally tell us less. Oh, I can't let this fucking thing go. I've got a fucking job to do today, and I've got to put up with this shit. You do too. We all do. <clears throat> what are we going to learn today? What are we going to learn tomorrow? The movie Invasion of the Body Snatchers was not about uh, zombies or devils or anything like that. It was about an alien takeover of the planet uh, where people were uh, mimicked and absorbed <clears throat> and they became aliens because they took something. Something took them. Body Snatchers. Strange movie. Strange concept. <clears throat> a couple of years ago, they said, we're all going to die of a pandemic unless we take their Jim Jones juice. Well, I don't know, folks. These aliens spray in the atmosphere with Body snatcher spray? Or is it right in our discussion yesterday that they're trying to kill us with zombie juice? Was the Jim Jones juice an effort to save humanity by giving us a concoction that would protect us from the aliens who would show up in spaceships disguised as balloons? <laughs> Fuck. Really? Oh, my cynicism runs deep, folks. All of these thoughts, as soon as I read that this morning... Didn't get enough sleep. Knocked out of my sleep by a nasty alarm saying, you got to go to work. <laughs> you got to make at least enough money to pay your fucking bills. <sighs> Unbelievable. Zombies, body snatchers, aliens. Medical experiments, pandemic. Are they going to take over the airwaves? 
Are they going to look like those little bastard Martian aliens from Mars Attacks? Back, 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 back. Are we going to learn that there's more than one alien species? There's the bad ones and the good ones, right? They must be bad because they shot them down. If they were good aliens, they wouldn't shoot them down. They'd go fly to Area 51 or Area 52, which is, you know, Area 51 is a cover for the real Area 52. Dreamland, if you will. Right? Dulce. Skinwalker Ranch, anyone? Patterson, Wright Patterson Air Force Base. If it was an alien, do you think the President of the United States would be allowed to stay in his little uh, shithole of a place in Delaware? Fucking Delaware. All right, folks, I'm going to let you go. Chance favors the prepared mind. I sure hope you're prepared for what's coming. You need food, water, shelter, clothing, medicine, and a means of self-defense. You need a plan. You see, I'm not even afraid of the aliens at this point. You know who I'm afraid of? The humans all around me. In this 10-mile radius. If aliens started attacking any city anywhere on this, this planet, the fucking humans would lose their shit in your area. And that, that's what the uh, <clears throat> the Brookings Institute paper said about uh, revealing to the American people that there are aliens, that the humans would lose their minds. I think they're too stupid to lose their minds, or they've seen enough alien movies now that we know you defeat them by shooting their spaceship in the fung hole. <clears throat> <laughs> unfucking believable. Ah, uh, just unfucking believable. We're in that room now. We're in that room now. People are the biggest threat. Well, I mean, I guess ultimately the aliens will be a threat if they, you know, if we're on the menu and stuff. But uh, <laughs> if they come out and just basically announce it, I mean, the Russians, uh, yeah, the Soviet Union fell. Someone found the Russians' papers. You know, there's like 57 different alien species out there that they were aware of. Yeah. Well, here we are, folks. Chance favors the prepared mind. Godspeed and God bless and separate fly. We're in that room now.